Good rally we've been talking so much about with the Dow up by 223 points. A lot of it thanks to Europe. But what if China were to slow us all down? Yudi Chang's the chief trader at Ace Investment Strategists, and that is our next question. Uh, Yudi joins us from Washington, D.C. It's our next question because we're kind of making an assumption, albeit admittedly too quickly, that Europe's kind of gotten things figured out after last night. If they do, will China pull back, hard landing, and we're back to a square one or worse? What do you say? Oh, I say absolutely so. Connor, this uh, so-called UEC or EU, United States and China, has been this ever-revolving headline news, right? So China's the third wheel. If their economy slows down or going to hard landing, definitely right. that's going to crash the world. What odds are you putting on that right now, if you had to say, as we look at the uh, GDP growth that we've seen in China? And as you see, if you compare the last two there, fourth quarter to the first quarter of 2012, they have been uh, certainly coming back down to earth a little bit, but what odds do you put on a quote-unquote hard landing in China? No, that's a good question. I think the uh, uh, probability of hard landing, in my own opinion, is probably slim. Okay. There's no doubt China is slowing down. China has been uh, going through its uh, worst growth in 13 years, right? So right now the government's coming out and start to say something because internally everybody believes that a 7% growth is absolutely critical for China to create enough jobs to sustain the so-called middle income level uh, uh, population, which is a very important population. Is right now the what, Chinese... Uh... Anything below that, by the way, because I was just, I, I need to get a number, this is U.S. versus China in terms of how the economy has been growing, but I need to get a number on what a hard landing is in China. Is that 7% yep. the number? Or? Yep. That's what they're talking about there, 7%. Right okay. now, the prime minister of China is setting this year's growth rate at about 7.5%. And their finance uh, department just came out yesterday and actually yeah. said that, you know what, we will be able to meet that 7.5%. So if they, they don't, they have then, to hold that 7 Then they're right. in, Then they're in trouble if they, if they don't. All right, so you're bullish now, uh, just to broaden the discussion slightly. I mean, markets are way up today on Europe, um, or are you cautious? Well, I'm actually very cautious. If you think about it, Connor, and what, I mean, just because the uh, prime minister is c coming out and say, hey, we're resolved to, re uh, to, to solve the European debt crisis, that doesn't mean it's going to get uh, resolved. How are they going to do it? I'm a golfer. I'm very determined to win the U.S. Open. But <laughs> The question is, how exactly am I supposed to do that? And that's the question. Everybody knows the problem is just too big, too deep to go away right away. So I think the market right now is just kind of evolving you know, between China, EU, and United States. Earnings, all, of course. Well, and we're just looking here, looking there. Right now, the news is good. Market's rallying. But I think it's going to uh, sort of slow yeah. down a little bit and market's going to sell off again. All right. I'll tell you what, Yudi. We've had uh, quite uh, a number of threats here on the show today. And I will give you better odds of winning the U.S. Open for anybody who's been watching throughout the entire hour. <laughs> than our friend Mark Vittner, who threatened to do backflips across his trading floor. And no offense, but that's not going to happen. UD, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Good weekend. All right, the big money backlash to the Supreme Court decision on, um, on health care. That's the next subject.